Well, happening tonight, Birmingham City School Superintendent Dr. Mark Sullivan is celebrating the district's achievements while also looking towards the future. Dr. Sullivan joins us now live from the Birmingham Museum of Art ahead of his Pathways Forward event tonight at 6 p.m. And Dr. Sullivan, thank you so much for being with us. It can be confusing for parents, the so-called failing schools list. It's part of the state legislature's accountability law, which is separate from the state Board of Education's report card. So let's talk about your achievements and what you're proud of right now. So Sarah, uh, you're right. Those are two different uh, lists uh, coming from two different entities. Uh, and I'm glad to say that we're showing improvement on both of them. Uh, if we look at the failing schools list, when, we, uh, when I took over as superintendent just a few years ago, we had 20 schools on the list, which, is the, which was at that time the largest number in the state. Uh, we are down to 13. Now 13 is 13 too many, but we had seven schools to come off and we're moving in the right direction. And then on the state report card, we, we had a C prior to the pandemic, and this is the first report card that has been released since the pandemic. And we went from a 71 C to a 73 C. So that's, that's modest progress. We're moving in the right direction. I'm really proud of the work that our teachers have done, our parents and our students. And tonight we just wanted to have an opportunity to talk about, you know, what these, what these uh, lists or what these, these different designations mean. Talk about some of the, the, the successes that we had in Birmingham City Schools. Also, as we're coming out of the pandemic, talk a little bit about some of the challenges and opportunities for us as we move forward. So I'm excited tonight. Uh, we have our community partners here who are going to uh, share in you know, the, the, uh, the work that we've been doing in Birmingham City Schools. Let's talk about that list just a few more minutes, sir. I mean, seconds. Seven mm -hmm. Birmingham City Schools have come off the list, but you've also had, uh, and let's just talk about those schools. I have a full screen, Brown Elementary, Hemp Hill yeah. Elementary, Booker T. Washington, uh, uh, Booker T. Washington, uh, West End Academy, Hudson K-8, and Putnam and Jones Valley Middle Schools. Let's celebrate Jones them. Jones Valley, yeah, yeah. Let's celebrate them coming off the list. Um, what, what have you been done differently that made this possible? So, uh, you know, once we came out of the pandemic, we were really laser focused on how we can ensure that our children not only were achieving, but we were also uh, addressing some of the gaps that they had even prior to the pandemic. You know, we changed our calendar around to have intercession periods where we provided instruction to students even when they were out of school. Our summer school programs, we we've, we've, uh, beefed up our summer school programs to provide support for children all along the academic uh, realm. We have, uh, we, we really invested heavily in providing supports for our schools that were uh, on the list, uh, you know, providing additional uh, staff members to go in and support teachers, support students, and then we really wanted to to uh, to buy or go invest in uh, products that help us to identify specific areas where children have weaknesses, so that we can then address those weaknesses in real time. And so uh, we're seeing some progress. Uh, we're not where we want to be, but we're a long way from where we used to be. And uh, so we're moving in the right direction, like I said, and I'm just proud of the work that our team has done, proud of the work of our students, and proud of our teachers. The Literacy Act, I know you have some, some concerns about that, and you've been really working towards that, and you're asking for volunteers. Talk about that for a moment. So we are, uh, we've partnered with the city of Birmingham and I cannot say enough about the work that the mayor has done as well as the city council in supporting our school system. There's a program called Page Pals where individuals can come in and they can volunteer to read to our students. It's important, it's important that students hear what good reading sounds like, understand what good comprehension is. And uh, a lot of times we have, uh, we have uh, citizens who have a lot of great skills and they want to come back and they want to give back to the school system, give back to children, and there's no better way than coming in and reading with a child for 30 minutes uh, once a week or 30 minutes twice a week. It really makes a difference in students' education. So um, you know, that's part of it, but then it also is just really good instruction, and we have some really great teachers uh, who have been trained in the, the science and the art of, of, of teaching reading, and we're seeing the results of all of that layered support for our students. Dr. Sullivan, thank you so much for your time to give us a preview ahead of your event tonight at the Birmingham Museum of Art that starts at 6 p.m. We hope you have a good meeting with your stakeholders there in the community. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for always being a champion for education. Have a good day. Wes.